Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, Dustin Zenscale Railroad. Uh, for those who know me in some of the Facebook train boards or follow my uh, railroad on Facebook, you're going to know that I was in the process of building my layout in my basement in Minnesota and I got a new job which forced me to relocate to Des Moines. So right now I'm in a rental property so I know this is going to be something that gets moved but that's why I'm building it now so it can be moved. But a welcome to my inaugural channel and I'm going to try to make these videos on my cell phone. Now these aren't going to be great quality videos, I'm sorry, I'm not going to spend that much money in cameras and apparatus so you have to follow along. Um, I'm about the project, not necessarily about the cinematic value of it. Anyway, so let me show you what we've done. I know this is going to be kind of a, a pain, uh, considering that uh, what's all going on and the fact that you're coming in midway, but that's the way it is. So here we go. So uh, now I flipped the camera on again. I'm not about cinematic value. I'm here about what's going on. I'm in my basement. Today. I spent the whole day a little warm uh, building that 4x4 table you see right there and all the legs for two 4x4 tables because I have one already built there and then two 2x4s. That's not with their permanent layout, but they were just set there along the corner. I decided after a while just to go with the particle board or the chip board instead of the AC because I'm covering it up with one inch foam anyway. So save a little money on that uh, but anyway I got the legs again for these 2x4s and the 4x4s that I just did uh, so what's gonna happen is I'm cutting a swath from southwest Minnesota to northeast Minnesota in my layout this is completely uh, just a, a pretend layout if you will uh, I'm not in it for prototypical I'm in it to build it and have some fun but uh, what you see on top of there right there I gotta learn how to use my props here uh, are the leftover uh, painted uh, background boards that I had from my original layout I still have some in storage from my old house, but I don't know if I'm going to try to salvage them or not. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but, you know, if I've got nothing better to do. When I'm in Minnesota, again, I might try to get them off of there because it takes a little time to do it. But I can actually show you what they look like. They're not the greatest, but they work for me and they're what I like. So that's not what the whole thing is about. They're a little hard to see right now, but that's painted on with spray paint and some uh, primer and stuff like that on just some hardy board. Or, yeah, hardy board. Uh, backing. So anyway, I have one inch foam I'm going to lay across. I know some people make the girders and then just put foam on it because it's rigid enough. And some people um, just put foam on top of the girders or just use the plywood. I'm putting the foam on top because in modeling southwest and central Minnesota, in that swath I'm going across where we have the farmland, we have drainage ditches. And instead of trying to change elevation for these narrow drainage ditches that a train would cross, it's easier just to carve down into the foam and make the drainage ditches and creeks that a train would normally cross. At least that's what I'm doing and that's what I'm happy with. So anyway, um, again, thanks for coming along and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, keep this up as I, again, no cinematic value. But anyway, uh, follow along and hope you enjoy as I uh, keep it going on my layout here on the YouTube channel. Again, inaugural one. Hope you follow it. Again, it's about the project, not necessarily about the cinematic value. Have a good one.